Hey, Dr. Goldberg here. Thank you for joining me on our Mnemonics for Medicine series. Today we're infectious disease. We're talking about aseptic meningitis or aseptic meningoencephalitis. And I'm more concerned about the differential diagnosis uh, that you be aware of the different organisms that are associated with this disease. So our case is a patient who presents with new onset of severe headaches, fevers, neck stiffness, mild photophobia, and malaise. Of course you do a spinal tap. And the CFSF shows 150 to 155 white cells with a right shift, more lymphocytes, 80% lymphocytes. And the glucose is normal. Protein is slightly elevated. And you diagnose aseptic meningitis. So the mnemonic today is WHALES-O, W-H-A-L-E-S-O. That's going to help us with the differential diagnosis of aseptic meningitis. So W is for West Nile virus, mostly a summertime virus that's associated with mosquito bites. Generally fairly benign, though it can cause more severe disease. H are the herpes viruses, so HSV1, HSV2, highly associated with meningoencephalitis. Uh, actually, HSV2, more aseptic meningitis, whereas the HSV1 is more a encephalitis. But CMV, EBV, and herpes zoster can also cause central nervous system disease. The other H you want to remember is HIV. A stands for the arboviruses, which are the western and the eastern equine viruses most commonly. These are also mosquito-borne and are going to be seen most commonly in the summertime. Uh, a is also for actinomyces. L stands for Lyme disease. So this is usually seen in secondary stages of Lyme uh, caused by Borrelia uh, burgdorferi. So remember that organism. Uh, Borrelia recurrentis, or relapsing fever, isn't as common, uh, but that's another Borrelia organism associated. Also, Leptospira uh, can sometimes uh, lead to uh, aseptic meningitis. E stands for the enteroviruses, and these include Coxsackie virus, Echovirus, uh, Poliovirus, some really nasty enteroviruses. Uh, e also stands for endocarditis. S stands for syphilis, caused by treponema pallidum, seen in secondary stages. Also, S stands for sarcoidosis. <clears throat> o is other, and this includes, includes TB, brucella, fungal disease, nocardia, rickettsia, neglaria, mycoplasma, toxoplasmosis, and even metazone infections such as worms. Uh, you need to be aware of. Less commonly, rabies virus, uh, Powassan virus, and NSAIDs. So remember that the CSF count for aseptic meningoencephalitis tends to be lower, usually less than 500. It's right shifted uh, and uh, can still benefit from Decadron IV as well as having a share of neural complications. Molarized meningitis, M-O-L-L-A-R-E-T, is associated with recurrent aseptic meningitis, something you should be aware of. Thanks for uh, tuning in today uh, to our aseptic meningoencephalitis mnemonics. Uh, we'll continue ID next video.